This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, everyone. Thanks Good for joining morning. us for North Dakota Today on the super windy super day. Super windy. Oh, my gosh. And sometimes I'm stuck in the studio all morning, and Lisa Green's telling us what it's going to be like. She's like, the wind's already picked up, and, you know, you just, you know, take her word for it. And I walked outside. I was like, wow, she was not mm -hmm. kidding. Mm -hmm. uh, it's super windy out there. Yeah. So um, wind advisory in effect. You can see this is a, a look on the uh, sky camp right now. Uh, and I know Jordan Trur in the newsroom just told me that the uh, landfill has been closed, which, closed. you know, when it gets super windy, you know, all the garbage starts Floating blowing around. all around. So uh, the wind advisory mm -hmm. in effect until, well, it goes into effect at 11 still this morning. And uh, so it's already windy, but it's going to get it's windier. It's all day long. And yeah, until 7. So uh, anyway, meteorologist Lisa Green was all over this this morning. I had to go, uh, uh, you know, ex experience it, it for you myself. Had to see when it. I went outside and yeah. I was like, ooh. I know, I didn't even bother to fix my hair after being outside. The windblown Oops. look. It was, uh, it's, yeah, right it's, on. it's windy and it's kind of dreary <laughs> out there. As we, I don't even want to look at that again. Actually, that sky cam was pretty dreary yeah. as well. Nobody likes the wind. That's one thing we complain about the most around here, don't we? I would agree. Versus the, you know, it, chilly weather. I think it's the wind, but for sure. Big day. Look yes. at this. National Pumpkin Day. We are celebrating. Day. I, I'm Love excited this. about this too. Uh, we have to show this one. I, it's so cute. See, Ben, our director, is is on top of this. This is the beautiful artwork <laughs> of a toddler. Of a toddler. Emmett, Emmett did this. Uh, our, our producer, Gretchen, and we, we kind of live through her. Like, cause I do. still want a little baby. You know, we don't. And yeah. she has a, a two-year-old, and she's like, well, look at this. This is what it looks like. And I was like, I remember that's that. It kind of so cute. We all did that. It kind of made me a little emotional thinking. I remember when my kids yes. were that little, and that's what their, their artwork looked like. Yeah. I love it. I love it's it. It's beautiful. So. So whether you enjoy pumpkin decor, pumpkin patches, or pumpkin spice lattes, today is the day to fulfill all of your pumpkin obsessions. Yes. So we had to bring out the table. Or just make sure you go buy your pumpkins today. Uh, and There's still a lot out there. Remember we had uh, the public health from Grand Forks here the other day, and we had uh, p pink pumpkins, and Aww. they were so beautiful. So I love uh, how people decorate I their pumpkins when people, today. Yeah. So many different ways. I mean, glitter. Look at that, cute. I love it. And if you're going to do it, or you maybe already have, <clears throat> go ahead, um, hashtag National Pumpkin Day, and put those pictures on Facebook as well. And Fine. talking about little Emmett, uh, he visited the little Blitz, little Bits? Little, little Bits, Bits Pumpkin Patch. Yeah, over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, I this love is this funny. story. This so, is the cutest story. Okay, we told you he's already two. So watch how mom, Gretchen, our producer, squats down to get a picture of him. And every time she squats down, <laughs> he squ she wants no, him to squat up, down. Stand no, stand up, Emmett. He's like, up, down, and he's up, like, down. Mm. What, am I supposed to squat? No, she was trying to. <laughs> this, I couldn't imagine being there because, right? I mean, you totally remember these days yes. when they copy you. Everything that you're doing, they copy you, you know? So I love it. It's so kind of like puppies. Puppies do the same thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was cute. Up, down. No, I you stand it. up. I go down. It's cute. Up, down, up, down. Anyway, yes. that's your cute fix for the day that's as well. Right. Yes. All right, shipping delays, of course. So this year, because of it, many are foregoing the online stores to head to brick and mortar costume shops like Spirit Halloween. And employees at Bismarck's outlet say they expect this year to be bigger than ever. So guess what the number one Googled costume is. Well, I believe this. I heard you guys talking about it, so I'm cheating a little bit. Uh, Cruella. Cruella DeVille. Yep, and I just watched Cruella, the new Cruella, on Disney over the weekend. I would totally recommend. You recommend the show? Mm -hmm. the, it's, the movie. So, okay. it's so good, and it's completely different. If, you know, some of the Disney shows, you know, the live action yeah. ones are very similar. This is a completely, this is Cruella when she was a little girl. Oh. So, yes, it's a... Uh, Awesome. Super, super good story. Super and cute. I think you're going to see a lot of Cruella. Mm -hmm. I know that was the number one Googled in Bismarck, but I bet. I, I think and we've Dickinson done some. And Dickinson the whole we've, West Coast. We've done a, a lot of national I'm sure stories as well, where that's yeah, one of the top trending uh, as well. Okay, well, everybody agrees Cruella is a great uh, costume, but this one might be a little bit divisive. You either love it or you hate it. Candy, Candy corn. corn. Love Do it you? or hate it. Well, I, love's a little I, strong, okay. but I'll eat yeah, it. love is yeah. strong. It's okay. okay. I just don't like the the pumpkins. You know, we were discussing this in the back. I can have a little candy corn, maybe mixed with some peanuts. 
or something, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. I know people do that. A mix just of a sweet and, sweet and salty. But the pumpkins are just too big. And then I think there's bats and all sorts of, you know, other. That's where you draw the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the corn because I don't, there's too much in the pumpkin part. So candy corn, yes. Okay, yep. Me too. It is a lot of sugar though. Here's some stats. 52% of Americans eat the whole piece of candy corn at once. 31% <gasps> of people enjoy the narrow white end first. <laughs> And 17% so of people funny. start with the wider yellow end. See, I feel like yeah, I'm in I the wrong career field because who was paid to do research on this? Yeah, right? <laughs> it's a thing, though. I guess that's a it thing. It is. I used to, as a kid, bite off the tip. Yep. And then I'd bite the next part. And then I'd eat, yeah. Because it, it all tastes different. When you're a kid. And I'm now just I just grab a handful and I... <laughs> I was at my wine party last weekend. We, there were bowls of candy corn all over and I, and I just... Well, notice they're putting them in the beer. That was a beer. Candy corn Wasn't that a beer? In the beer. <laughs> I thought that was a beer. Candy corn. You I think know, they there's put like nuts candy corn. There's chocolate and you know candy flavored beer, so that makes sense. Yeah. But I think I would rather have olives or a pickle. Yeah. Haven't you ever seen? Speaking of beer, sorry, we're getting on. You're aside. right. There it is. It's inside the beer. Here, but yeah. But then people put the little peanuts in there too, or the little spicy, you know, those spicy nuts in their beer. Have you ever had that? Mm mm. Okay. Just sorry. Just in okay. case you. Well, wanted a little extra beer talk I was like, let's today. do that. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. Oh. Why not? We're going to have some beer. Okay, I want to get to the story because I think it's it super is cute. cute. A group of dads has come together in an effort to change the tone on their children's school campus. Check this out. Dads on Duty formed after some fights broke out, which, you know, is kind of a, a bad story at first. At a Louisiana high school, uh, dozens of arrests were made, but dads to the rescue. When I yes. was reading this story and our producer was it's talking cute. about it, it made me think, I will sometimes say, hey, you know what, do you want me to tell your dad when he gets home? And then the girls are like, yeah, no, okay, I'll, yeah. I'll shape up. So this might work in the school too. Uh, they s show up just before eight in the morning, helping students as they enter uh, the school, give them words of encouragement. High fives. High fives. Yep. So it's not like they're that's cool. bully dads. Them. They're just like, hey, you know, we're dads know. on duty. Dads on duty. We're watching. I love this. I think we should do something like this here. I think in so Fargo, too. In Fargo, West Fargo School District. Just the presence of having dad around. Yeah. Makes a difference, so. All right, coming up on North Dakota Today, one woman has been wearing the same dress it's for 26, 26 days. days. Same dress, 26 days in a row. We haven't checked in in a while. Yeah, we're going to find out uh, just how creative she's had to be over the last uh, couple of weeks and why, of course, she's doing it if you yes. uh, weren't watching the day we talked about it first.